Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome to a brand new episode of my Wolfsburg career mode. Now, before I get into anything, I just want to mention in the last episode, there was a delay. You would have noticed at the start of this series, there was also a delay in the audio. So I would score a goal, but you wouldn't hear the fans cheering for about a second. Now, I just want to clear this up because I've been trying so hard to try and fix this. I managed to fix it, but now there's a new problem. So I'm going to start off this episode by saying, as of now, right this moment, my settings are perfect. Watch this, ready? It's all in sync. Everything is in sync. But what you might see throughout this episode is it slowly gets out of delay. Um, if that's the case, then at least I've got proof. I've actually shown you guys it's perfectly working right now. And I now know that I've done everything I can. It's just the software if it bugs out. If it does bug out and this is still a problem, I'm not going to use XSplit to record. I'll go back to my old ways. But um, it's just really easy XSplit. I really enjoy using it. It's just a shame that delay is there. But anyway, that's, um, that's a different topic, I guess, for another day. Today in this Wolfsburg episode, we have a game against Gladbach coming up. But if I go into my calendar, I've just looked ahead and looked at January. Just look at January. Ready? Bayern and Dortmund. Obviously, they have a winter break in the Bundesliga, so there'll be lots of time to do some uh, some transfers, maybe. But those two games are going to be huge. Um, but in December, it's also looking pretty difficult as well with two Europa League games against Lille and Everton and also three Bundesliga matches as well. But right now, I'm focusing on the uh, Gladbach game where, of course, Xhaka is going to be playing against his old team. So here we go, guys. Another home game. Gladbach looked to be a pretty dangerous side. Let's have a look at their lineup first. Already mentioned how Xhaka is up against his old team. There is Schürrle. Hopefully he's going to be playing his best like he has been so far. But this is the Gladbach team. They've got some great players in there. Raphael and Kroos. Uh, Kramer's playing as well, which is good to see. And Thorgan Hazard out on the left. Decent defence as well. So it should be a difficult game, this. Here is Xhaka. What can he do with it? I'm actually going to go for a shot here. Let's see if we can get it on target. It's a little bit wide. Not a bad shot, but clearly I would like to get him a goal against his old club. That'd be pretty cool. Here's Doss. Let's put that out on the wing here and build up nice and slow. That's what this team is good at. And then going for the jugular right at the end. Let's see if the Bruins can pick something out here. Over the top for Schürrler. That is a very nice ball. Get the cross in. Oh, man. No! It didn't quite work out, but we've got ourselves a corner at least. Let's swing this one in. Let's try and get a really good out-curving ball. It's not bad at all, that unlucky Schürrle. Come on, Dost. Inside. That's a good ball to De Bruyne. Easy as that, guys. We finally get that goal. We've had a couple of chances already. I'm glad back at the back. Glad back at the back. Don't look particularly strong. They've got a very good midfield and good two players up front. Um, but what's their keeper doing there? Here come Gladbach. Raphael and Cruz look very good together. That's a good save by the keeper there. Just before half time here, I'm trying to get a second goal. Let's play that out on the wing to Perisic. It's a pretty decent ball, that. Can I get through here? I've gone around him. He's still going across the ground. No! The defender just saw it come in. Oh, that's so frustrating just before half time. Yep, there goes the whistle, guys. Let's get into the second half and try and get this second goal. Here come Gladbach again. It's Raphael playing a 1 2 with Cruz. Can we stop them from scoring? I really hope so. That's not good. Thorgan Hazard. He may not be as good as his older brother in this game, but he's still very good. That is a really good finish and some terrible defending from me. Come on, let's try and get back in the lead here. Over to Gustavo. I can see Schürrle. Make that run, son. Oh, that's a good run. Ball into the box. Simple as that, guys. The run from Schürrle was absolutely perfect. And I tell you what, that was rather close. He almost missed this. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh. Oh, oh that is so lucky. The ball in from Schürrle. It's pretty much perfect to go right to the back to Trash, I think it was. And uh, straight across to Dost. Very lucky indeed. This here, this header, it's a really good save. It's just unfortunate that um, I guess my striker was there. And he's got such good finishing. He's not going to miss from there. There is the three points, guys. Really happy with that. Good performance all round, except from the goal we conceded. And a couple of chances where 
they just had the ball and kept it so long. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get into the next game now and hopefully get another three points. So here is the group in the Euro League right now. After four games, we are top by five points. So we're up against Lille now at home. I'm going to play a slightly weaker side because there's no need for me to absolutely go for it. Because if we get the win here, we're guaranteed top spot. Um, I think we're, we're, yeah, we're guaranteed to go through now. So there is real no need to, to put up a really strong side. So Lille, it's time to get smashed by some kids. So here is the team I'm using up against Lille. We've got Thuelke coming back. We've got Seguin, we've got Mbolo, Arnold. The rest of the team are, I'd say, experienced or, you know, middle middle 20s or so. So it's still a very young side. Not so much experience in it, but it's good enough to, to at least get the draw here, which is all we need, really. Um, but here is Lille's team. It's pretty much exactly the same as the last game. Mavuba in the middle. Uh, Lopez at Cami had a very good game against me. Let's see if we can get the win. Oh, what a ball. Oh my god, we're 1-0 down after 10 minutes. I told you Lopez had a good game in the last game. It looks like he's having another great game so far. Here's Mbolo on the wing. Come on, let's get something from this one. Here's Viarina. Going to get the ball in. Oh, it's a good cross. It's a good header. Oh my god. What a finish. I cannot believe that's gone in. I should start using this guy more. Through ball to Mbolo. That's very nice. Someone else make the run. I'm going to go on the outside here. Along the ground. Oh, wow. The keeper just about got on the end of that. That could have been easily 2-1 before half time. But that's okay. Let's get into the second half now. It's been a good game so far. Oh, my God. Has that just happened? The keeper backed off. We've made it 2-1, but that really shouldn't be going in. That is terrible from their keeper. He's been really good so far. But this pass from Mbolo, that, that is shocking. Next-gen goalkeepers, guys. Here comes the counter-attack. Over for Mbolo. Do I be selfish or do I go for it? I'm going to go for it. Yes, get in there. I was going to pass it for the hat-trick for uh, Caligari, but I decided that I wanted Mbolo to get the goal. So there you go. No, referee. There was still a chance for the hat-trick, but he's blown the whistle, guys. Very good win. Convincing win, at, win, actually, despite using a slightly weaker team. But that doesn't matter. We definitely progressed through the group stages in the top position in the group. So I'm really happy about that. Final result was 3-1. Into the next game against Hanover, guys. We're away from home in this one. Here you go, Schurler down this left side. Can I get through with the fake shot? I can. What can I do here? Back. Nice little drag back. And again. Chip it in. Oh my god. Why? Why did I chip it in? I should have done a triple tap or something like that. We've still got the ball here with Young. Let's get a cross in. Oh, he's... Yeah, he's offside. God damn. Good start though. I'm really struggling to even get the ball. Look at that. Possession. 60% to Hanover. And they picked out a really good pass here. Briand. Oh no. Inside to Bittencourt. I'm sliding all over the place and it's terrible. Great bit of defending there right at the last moment. Nicely done, Rodriguez. Right, ref, blow that whistle. Let's get get out of this first half. Well, actually, no. No, don't do that. Look at the ball to Dost. Come on, son, finish it. Get in there. We finished it. I, I was pleading for the referee to blow the whistle because we've had such a bad first half, but this happens instead. Dost gets the ball down, and that's a very good finish as well. Really happy with that. Good job. This is what we're good at, guys. Little ball over the top. Come on, Perisic. Yes, good finish. Good finish. Good goal. Oh, man. 2-0. We don't deserve to be winning this 2-0, but that is Wolfsburg at its best. Oh, my God. There's the luck. It's Mbolo. I mean, oh man. Why am I not happy? I, I am. I just cannot believe my luck sometimes. Look at this. Deflected. That is deflected off the player's... Well, it looks like it's his foot. And it's straight in. That I mean, you can't get more lucky than that. And that's the end of the game. 
I cannot believe I've won this one 3-0. That is the most flattering score I've ever seen. So there is the league table after 14 matches. We are identical still with Bayern in terms of our record. 10 wins, 4 draws and 0 losses. I've only conceded 6 goals. It's just crazy. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you could drop a like that'd be fantastic. You can also follow me on Twitter at OfficialMGH and that is the same name as my Twitch name where I will be streaming some GTA later on. So if you're interested in that, all the links are in the description and I will see you in the next episode.